Hello. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I haven't even figured that one. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just <laughs> figured that's what's gonna happen out the gate. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. That is the best way to describe us. You're right there, the first beginning of the That's the best way, so shut up and start to do it. <laughs> so, as you can see, okay, so I'm Jaeger. Um, welcome to the our first ever podcast, the Untitled Podcast, and today I'm here with. My co-host, Ard, or Ard Vark. Co-host. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. No, okay. I'm the host. You're the co-host. Usually, oh, when, yeah. When it's when you're doing a podcast, Ard, the host greets themselves and their co-host. I'm just the bum on the couch. Yes, you are the bum on the couch. Literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally, you're the bum. In, you're the bum in the couch. But yeah, so. Uh, was this word? I remember I've te- teased this before on my Snapchat story, and people who know me in real life have might have seen the stories. And I've always wanted to do this, and I'm able to do it now with my uh, best friend here, Ard. Yeah, we don't even really know what to do. <laughs> the no, podcast. we don't. Like, yeah, it's like like <laughs> we have talked about doing this for so long, yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. often because whenever we're, we're okay, whenever we play games, because we're gamers, because we're I don't know why. Yeah, we are. We just ramble about nonsense that doesn't even belong to the game. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, these should be belong on podcasts. Yeah, and, and here we, we are. are. Yeah, the untitled podcast. So, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of shit that we talk about. And as as you can see from like the first, um, how many seconds have already has already elapsed? We uh, swear a lot. Matter. Yeah. I need to know how many seconds, like how long we've been recording. <laughs> Bro, I don't think you know it's the time you need to stop recording. True. So like, yeah, twelve because like, they do like goodbyes and shit. So, but anyway, yeah, it's like you know we've we've talked about a lot, and but this about a lot, this a lot, and now we're doing it. And uh, as you can notice, we we swear a lot. We don't. We pretty much don't watch our language language a lot. So if you don't like people hearing people swear, leave. Um, we made. I mean, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we also, will be loud. We will be boisterous. If you mm-hmm. require a quiet podcast, we are not the thing for you. Yeah, Unless you better no, no. our own voices to sound like we're in another room, then maybe. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, we might also touch in some sensitive topics because who we both of us as a, as people we we don't mind talking a lot about sensitive topics. We, I don't know why no. we just we just do. So like it sexual just comes out. Yeah, it just comes out, and we, we, and if it sounds like we're arguing, just know that it's all in good fun. Like we, it, it honestly sounds like we're a gay married couple, but. God, <laughs> I know. Something wrong with this guy. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, you're supposed to call me Jaeger, but my oh, fucking my, my fucking first name's already on the internet, so it doesn't matter. But also, <laughs> I want you to know that immediately slipped my mind. Yeah. First off, you got me tired doing this. So. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah it's like, no. this right is now. Go down your fast. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's like ten thirty right now, and like when we were when we were we are recording this. So that d- no, that has no excuse for me to be tired. It's just what? for some reason I am. Well, anyways, and I had work today, so yeah. But and I yeah like. So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> See, my opinion, podcasts that specifically try to find something to talk about are kind of like, yeah. eh. Yeah. Just things that are natural and just moves on and goes through whatever is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, major but. Yeah. I mean, big booty, let's just butt. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> we got to introduce ourselves, kind of. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. True. People need to know kind of who he is. So, like, who we are, like, well, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so, yeah. God, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah just like, just us talking, really. It's like, it's really showing, like, our fucking personalities, anyways, so. Okay. Um, also, since this being our first, uh, podcast, if you guys do have any suggestions to improve this, um, like Please getting do. rid of a voice. <laughs> 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 but 
but but if you had like if just like currently like right now like our overlays we're using a discord overlay that's meant to be only going on the top left top right bottom left bottom right corner of the screen and we're just blowing it up so put it in the middle yeah it's in the middle right now it's just that when you're blowing it up the resolution goes down so mm -hmm. it's a fixed resolution so it looks blurry our, our icons are blurry as shit so speaking of our icons um if you can't tell we are huge destiny fans i my icon is of a elixir hatchling and um artworks is of a shade binder warlock right shade binder yeah yeah shade, shade binder. bender shade bender is it shade yeah oh yeah shade bender shade bender warlock vein for life hell yeah even though you haven't Oh, it's, it's, Play Destiny it's, 2 in like four weeks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it's Shade Binder, Bray. Uh, or fuck. It's just that I got myself burnt out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and I have no more friends on a yeah. certain place to play on, and it's like, yeah. Well, shucks. well, see, next season we should have a uh, cosplay. So, so if you don't, if um, to let you guys know, I play on PC. Ard plays on Xbox, and at least I'm s I'm transitioning to play on PC. <laughs> what? But you, you good? God, I wish you all heard what I hear. Okay. So yeah. What? You're back. What? Oh. From the fourth dimension of cutting in and out. Is it me? Too loud. What? I think that's what your problem is. No, 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 that's not right. Because my audio is fine on the recording. Oh, on the, okay, got it. The recording's Discord, fine. Discord, you just went... So, in the next season... Uh, really? And then we'll also... will. Alright, let's turn off like, noise suppression. So, uh, let's... Noise. I want... It's voice and audio. Okay. Do, do, I, do I sound better now? Am I still am I still Ro Mr. Roboto? Because my my oh, no, I, I applaud you on listening back to all of this. Yeah. For the reason being, you have to listen to your own voice. Oh yeah, yeah. I could never stand yeah. my voices. <laughs> I am annoying. Yeah. And yeah, annoying I've, in real life. Uh, you'll Stuffy. just get you just get used to it, man. You just get used to it. There's a I had to do quite a bit of recording audio and listening to my own voice. When I was doing projects for my school. So, yeah. Oh. So. Yeah, if you can't tell. Um, I'm going to be one talking most of the time. While Art here is going to be not talking a lot and usually i'm the one who's instigating the conversation sometimes he'll he'll drop in well it's like that like that because this course is iffy like you were dead silent for the last like minute so i'm like really? i'm gonna stay quiet see what happens okay yes and i'm like i'm gonna stay quiet hopefully he's talking <laughs> yeah yeah i, I was talking and he's done like br br uh ard are you you there, Ard? Hopefully he isn't doing that. Ah. Uh, so if if you do, what's this word? Like lapses of uh, what's this word? Of silence. I'll I'll just keep on talking so that my I could fill the void with noise. So it's not just you know the music in the background. So by the way, if you uh for the music guys, if you do like what's being played right now in the background. It is a live stream I'm playing in the background called uh, Japanese Lo-Fi Radio 24-7, the Japanese Garden, being streamed by Lo-Fi Geek. So if you guys do want to check them out, they're pretty cool. They have multiple live streams. This is the one I went on. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What? What? Now I was just telling, I was just telling them about... What's this word? 
about the music that's being played. So, you sure it's not my end, not your end? Because it could be my end. Honestly, I feel it, like we're having four different conversations. Sh should be. It could be. I feel like we're. I feel like we're having four different conversations <laughs> now. No, because get on it. On my end, my voice connected is green. I don't know. It is green. So yeah. Oh, uh, at some point we might even have guests in this podcast. We're not sure if we will, because I, we're going to be uploading this on a sixty subscriber channel, and I don't think a, a lot of people would want to listen to two blokes, you know, just talking about shit. But hey, well, a bloke and a bastard. But yeah, yeah, a bloke and a bastard. Yeah. Um. But hey, like, you know, you got offline TV, you you got um, The Misfits, you got a bunch of podcast channels. You got, uh, you got Rooster Teeth. Yeah, you got <laughs> Rooster Teeth podcast. Like, it, it, who knows? People might actually listen to this. And so, I mean, that honestly, that's true. That's true. I'll, I'll post this, this on my and... socials. I'll post this on my socials, post it on your socials. So hopefully that, you know. What social? Oh snap! Yeah, you got your snap. That's the only one I got. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'll post it. I'll post it on my socials. We should get. Should we, we should get a Twitter and Insta and stuff about this. But I'll just post it on my personal. So. That, are, that requires me to get Twitter. <laughs> and Twitter is a fest bomb. Of yeah. Who wants to fight and get offended within seconds? Yeah, yeah. You said the wrong word in the wrong sense at the wrong punctuation. <laughs> I must yell at you for the next 30 minutes. You must get canceled. Cancel this person. Yeah, really. <laughs> so oh my it's... god, they're racist. Well, yeah, if they're racist, go ahead and fucking cancel them. But if you're like taking shit out of context, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a problem, my god. First off, that person is not a guy, it's a feminist. True. <laughs> Extremist, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, when it comes to feminists, like I respect their shit. Like you know, fighting for equal rights for genders and shit like that. No, no. Okay, here's my problem. But, I'm sorry, but here's here's on. where I mixed. Go on. I go agree on. with I agree with the idea of equal rights. Yeah, equal rights. Equal yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But, what everybody is wanting is not equal rights. That's, They're uh, wanting rights that tip in their favor. That's true. Now, that's more of the Which, extremists. Because, like, there are feminists who are... Who really... Who do really want equal rights for every... Uh, for yeah. all the genders. And, like, and even beyond that. But it's the, it's the... It's the vocal majority, which is usually the minority of the group. That usually are the ones that, you know... It's the extreme ones... That are being stared at. So. Yeah. It's just, the, yeah, it's really just the extremists that I have a problem with. Those that take it too far and push their agenda to, like, alter their agenda so much, in their, like, so much, that it's not even about their message. And even though what they're saying, it, it's not even about that anymore. Like, that, yeah, like, uh, equal like with fucking feminists like the extremists would like want to change shit to make all the stuff for mas the masculine side to be lessened no 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 that's not good we don't want that we don't want this yeah I mean, it's like I, I i support their cause i support what they're fighting for just look what what are you doing? And see if you're doing it if you're doing it for your actual message and what you're actually fighting for. This has turned wow. Yeah, like very political. Yeah, this has turned very well. Not really political because it isn't uh, political. It's 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 part of the political sphere, but yeah. I guess so. Yeah, when it comes to the two of us, um, politics, we could we talk. Very open. Yeah, we. Uh, what's this word? We could talk about politics and not get basically not get offended. 
Like, if you bring a Republican, we will, we, can, we will talk to them, we will listen to what they have to say, and we will not defend them. If you, if you, if we bring in a Democrat or a liberal, we can, you know, we could talk to them, listen to what they have to say, and not get offended. No, because we're quite open to ideas. Because, at least with my f personal philosophy or my personal ideas of stuff, is that you know, equal rights to everyone means e people should have <laughs> the right to have their own opinions. Whether they, they might be right, they might be wrong, misinformed, or uh, overzealous and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're, they're entitled to their own opinion, and we are willing to listen what you have to say and what your ideas are. Opinions and, are just self-made facts. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's, our opinions are just our own, like, yeah, just our self purposes. Self-made facts. Fair point, fair point. But also don't, oh, uh, what's this word? Mistake fact for uh, opinion for fact, uh, fact for opinion, and opinion for fact. So, if you can argue about a fact, then it's an opinion. Oh, well, that statements about arguing over that fact is then an opinion. Because yes. you, you know you have the whole uh, flat Earth society and Earth and that whole debate. There are there are like a legit, there's a legit society talking arguing that if Earth is flat. You know, and then people are arguing that it the Earth isn't flat; it's more of a spherical shape. Then so, I have a question. Then yeah. So let's say Earth's flat. Yeah, go on. And an asteroid hits one of the outside edges of the sphere. <laughs> Would it then cause the saucer to start spinning? <laughs> Flip a coin. <laughs> Flip a coin. And it, goes, <laughs> <laughs> it just spins. Like, <laughs> uh, oh my god. That's that's one reason why it's kind of debunked. Is yeah, we would spin. Uh, I I remember it was I think it was a documentary on Netflix. I think about the Flat Earth Society, and they were trying to prove that the Earth is flat. They bought they bought this um like a gyroscope. I think it was a gyroscope or what, what whatever it was. Um, and they said like if it, it was like if the when the gyroscope is spinning because of the Earth's rotation. It being a sphere, we should see like a 15 degree shift in the gyroscope or whatever it is. These, this guy buys that gyroscope, sets it up and using it, and looks at the gyroscope and see, seeing if there is a drift. You know what they found? A 15 degree drift. The ex this exact amount of degrees. That they used math. They used math to find it initially. The amount of the shifter would be. And they got this. Uh, what's this word? This gyroscope and found that exact number. He just, as an as a flat earther, he just proved himself wrong. <laughs> Those are the funniest times. Yeah, it's whenever funny. someone's so like kind of hypocritical, or kinda, someone's just wrong, and then they you're so severely wrong. And yeah, they prove themselves wrong. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is whenever they realize that, like, oh wait a minute. Yeah, I just I just hope that those kind of people don't try and like try it again, the world. or unless if they do try it again and if it does like prove themselves wrong, it's just just to accept it, say sorry, it just to, and accept that they were wrong and accept the fact. I don't mind that. Just like you know, they they accept that they were wrong and they were you know. It's just it bothers me. It's when they like start whining about it and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you're wrong. Stop whining about it. Just say sorry and move on. I'm not gonna hate you for being wrong. I'm not gonna call you fucking stupid. You were just misinformed. And you do it to me. Be... <laughs> like I call you a dumbass because it's funny and we know it's <laughs> you know it's all in good fun. Okay, Hunter who jumps off the map. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I wanna test this out for science, kills himself. <laughs> And uh, yes, that has happened before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, 
also some more, some additional information to when we eventually start talking about like more stuff, more like more in depth stuff. I'm a Filipino American who just who now is an citizen. A, a, yeah, a U.S. citizen. So I get so you you can like judge whether I could talk about certain stuff or not. And Ard here, if you would like to tell who what ethnicity you um, are. I am an American. Well, my okay. This is Americans are Americans. Are you're, weird. you're Caucasian. I was born. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're, you're Caucasian. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Is that uh, the is Caucasian? That, oh. Isn't okay, that continue on. isn't that what you are? What white people actually are? Caucasian. You might not. Um, Britain maybe. No, 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 no. That's just British. British Caucasian. Know. But go on, okay. explain your uh, um, background. I am American, born born and raised here, mm-hmm. and in like three states exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, not as exactly, but I visited more. Um, my family itself, on my dad's side, originates from Sweden. Mm-hmm. Originates from Britain. Which size originated from Britain? You kind of cut out there for me. My my mom. My so mom in no. Name. My mom's Britain and German. Okay. Is it Deutschland? <laughs> so, I, I I I disregard myself being like part German. Nah, I'm sorry. Nah. Why is that? Why is that? This is why why, why do is you... that? I'd rather be. I I'd rather go to the side of Sweden. Then just to because... say like you say you take pride being Swedish. Yes. Yeah, you take pride being Swedish, yes. I, dude. I'm. And if you haven't guessed, um, I am very tall for my age, at a good six three. And I'm very tiny, so. but I'm average for an Asian. So. Yeah. Being uh. So. Being five five six, I think. I think I'm five six. It's been a while since I checked my height. Well, uh, last time, last time I checked, I was five five. Kyle's lost him. He's five two. I oh, fuck you. <laughs> already, I'm already five 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 six, man. I can't lose any more fucking inches. Sure you could. Chop off your legs. <laughs> Better yet, I'll do it for you. Put it on the kneecap. <laughs> uh, that would surely do it. Uh... But yeah, see, uh, if you... Oh, if my ethnic doctor... Yeah, like, I said I was Filipino, but I'm also... also I'm... I'm mixed. So I'm Filipino, Spanish, Chinese. Fil- the Filipino being bo- from both sides. The Spanish being from my mom's, and the Chinese being from my dad's. So I'm quite mixed. But I take like art here. Um, what's this word? Art taking pride of being being sw- Swedish. I take pride of being uh, Filipino. I'm also German, but like re- really, really tiny. Really, really tiny. I think like my grandfather's. My, well, my, my I think my grandfather's grandfather was part German. So it's like tiny, like tiny. I'm pretty sure he's also like from Germany too, which is also interesting if you think about the fact that maybe around that time Nazi Germany was still around. So it's a possibility that that German. That German person in my family could have I could have been a Nazi, could have been a um, he might have defected from Nazi Germany. Who knows what background he has? And I don't know any other information apart from that. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I actually would look it up if there's like any like German defect like Nazi defectors going to the Philippines. Interesting. Because uh, now, I, if it's my grandfather's grandfather, N- Nazi Germany wasn't the thing yet. I'm pretty sure. At least it was free Nazi Germany. I wonder why, why there's a German in the Philippines. I really wonder. 
it was before World War Two and World War One, so <laughs> not no clue. So yeah. Hmm. There's gonna be a lot of like just voids of noise. I'm gonna have to edit those, put, edit th those out. Like the void, like where like no one's speaking. Yeah, when no one's speaking. Yeah, maybe because it's kind of like <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I have to title these two. Should we just go by numbers? Just go numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So, Untitled oh, podcast so number this... one. Untitled yeah. podcast number two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, more to explain why sometimes I get quiet just because I'm trying to concentrate, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking because... at a game right now, right? What do you mean? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not even that. It's because I have two quote-unquote mental problems of the nice ADHD and ADD. So life, fun. And I never really noticed that, like, to be honest. Like, there's at some points, yeah, I see where it happens, but most of the time... Oh, yeah, because I keep myself busy. Yeah. Yeah, every time I'm, like, talking to him and shit, or when I'm just interacting with you, like, I don't really notice that you have ADD or, AD and, or ADHD. Sometimes even I sometimes I even forget that you have have those two. Mm. That's probably a good thing. Uh. So, yeah, I never really noticed that. Um. As for I, I, I don't think I have any uh mental health issues. Well, no, not mental health issues. Mental. Uh, mental illnesses or I don't really like the term mental illness honestly I don't think anybody does yeah because like especially with like ADD and ADHD being considered a mental illness because in reality it's not really yeah you're when I think mental illness I mean like I think like you're like out like you're sick in the mind like you're you like it's to the point where you cannot function in in human society without being like locked up or something so like yeah even though like ADD and ADHD are classified as mental illness I, I usually I treat them as like mental augments would that be a better term yes that would yeah mental augments because really like I don't see ADD or ADHD as an illness but more as an augment like it's just uh, like yeah it's, it's like it just augments the mind to like slight to be slightly different from like the norm. So that's that's how I see ADD, ADHD, um, certain and others mental illnesses such as similar or around the same area as ADD and AD and ADHD. So what game are you playing right now? Um. Take a wild guess. Minecraft? Yeah, I'm on a server. Ah, what, uh, what server? What do you mean, what server? Are you on our server? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were playing Pixelmon or something. No. No, I, oh, I, I really want to do a Pixelmon like, series with you. Like, you actually record it and you actually like play everything because mm -hmm. Pixelmon has so much potential. But yeah. it's just nobody likes like it's kind of weird like no one likes watching it like kind of yeah yeah that's a, it's when at its height of, of pixelmon a lot of people liked watching pixelmon especially like the oh big, definitely especially the uh big names yeah the big the big names yeah well i'm gonna post it on my snapchat there you go okay Working on pilot episode. So of the untitled podcast. So to explain, me and Kyle have a server, or you know, well, I have a server that yeah. we play on, uh, Java edition. Mm -hmm. 
Um, hate it sometimes because of the battle, but that's because I'm just unskilled. Continuing on, um, we play modded, uh, obviously, mm -hmm. kind of well, obviously. Modded is so fun. It is, and we have Galactic Craft, and we're just well, not really Galactic Craft, but the core mod of it, where you have to get stuff and go to different planets. Mm -hmm. We have the core of it. Yeah, like the, the, big, the big bit. Yeah, the more important bit. Then we have like tinctures and, um, I think that's about all, besides just enough items and yeah. vein mining. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Well, I, I obviously love Tinkers, dude. Just being yeah, able Kyle's to, like... Tinker. Yeah. I mean, dude, I freaking, like, made a uh, fucking cleaver. Like, like basically one-shot you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, <I'm> like... <laughs> if he's not... If, like, Ard's not, if is not doing something that I don't like, I'll, like, just whip out the cleaver. It's like, you sure about that, bud? You want to do it again? <laughs> he just walks back, walks away, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like, well, I know how to, I know how to work tinctures. It's just that it's Kyle's thing at the moment. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving tinctures, dude. Yeah. Having, God, like all the, all like all the piping and shit. It's like it's like wire management, but worse because I can't put stuff near each other and everything takes a block so it needs more space unlike my wire management I just put everything together put used wire management stuff and just stuff it underneath my table because of the net I have yeah and whenever we do a pixel one server um do you want should we join an actual server or just make one of us I, I feel like we should just join an actual server so that because everything's are all set up. So yeah, okay. We might just just join an actual server. Okay. Okay. Please. We're not allowed to use we're not allowed to use the slash vote stuff. Slash oh yeah okay two op. Two op. In some servers two op. In other servers it's it's okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I kind of don't like it when they do that, where like, the so slash votes and traits are like, give two OP stuff. Kind of, so I played, I'm not going to say the server's name obviously, but I've yeah, played on the yeah. server before, and I did slash vote, I voted for it, I'm like, okay, well I'm going to see what gear I get. Instantly got like a legendary Pokemon out of it, I'm like, okay, not noted, not, not, there's no grind to this one. It's like Destiny 2, where you get, you always get legendaries, but barely get any like, uh, commons. Like, rares are... You always get rares and legendaries, but never commons and uncommons. Yeah. Your, whites, your whites and greens. You never get this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's because we're on a higher level. Yeah. You know, there's just more... In, there's just more materials, man. Like, it's only been recently that I finally... Ran out of glimmer. I've always had near max, and now I ran out. Granted, I haven't doing what and any like bounties and stuff. So, so real quickly, Destiny. I, I would recommend like any of the games that we should like say or like speak about. If you don't know what it is, I would recommend looking it up. Yeah, and figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Because Destiny Two is a fun game. Well, we hate it. <laughs> we hate some of their some of Bungie's choices. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, it's a good game. Yeah, I, I kind of feel bad for it. Like, I understand why people hate or do not like Destiny Two because of, like all the decisions and stuff. But like, if you look past it, it's actually a fun game. And then also the fact they pay every single season. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to pay for the base game at least, and you don't no. have to. You just you then you can do the. Uh, Seasonal stuff. You just don't get the uh, season pass and the rewards underneath. But, uh. Yeah. Else? But, yeah, I've, I've been playing Destiny since year one of D1. 
and then started playing in uh, d day one of Destiny 2. And you Ard started playing it Forsaken, right before Forsaken, right? Right before Forsaken. Right before yeah. Forsaken. Did you ever get um the veteran stuff? No. No. So you were so you were after that time period then. Well, I mean, you mean like the gunshot where like you have like the six sh uh, sh shooter and all that? Yes, I did eventually get that, but no. But you know the know the that. emblem and the shader. No. Oh no, I, I do have those. Yes, but were those later or? Yeah, later. So you didn't get it before Forsaken. No. So yeah, so you were, so you played after that time period then, because there was a time period, uh, bef before Forsaken dropped or after Forsaken dropped, where if you play that certain time period or before that that day, you were considered a veteran and you can get vet, uh, you can get, um, a shader, an emblem, and an, and a emote, right? Yeah. For playing before a certain date, and you're considered a veteran. I have those items okay. since that day, so I'm considered a veteran in the eyes of Bungie. Which they should... Uh, why did my OBS stack? But any, anyways. They should... What's this word? Do a second round of veterans, to be honest. Or each year. Like, no, there I, is already a second round of veterans. Really? Yeah. When? Which one? Uh, if you played... Um, what is it? If you played dot 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 dot. If you played from for not uh, from Forsaken on to like for uh, what is it? Shadow Keep. Yeah. You were considered a new veteran. And then same thing with Beyond Light. So if you've been here since uh, what is it? Since Forsaken, the game considers you a a Forsaken veteran. Remember this. Hold on. By the way, this is Kyle. He has to fact check anything. Jaeger. And everything. Please refer to me as Jaeger. Jaeger. Okay. Jaeger. Okay, got it. Jaeger. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I tend to fact check, fact, check, fact check stuff. Yeah. Veterans of the Hunt Bundle. You got the emblem, the shader, coin flip. Is it coin flip and coin flip and knife trip? Oh, that's back in twenty eighteen. What do you know? Remember what gear it was? Nope. What you, what you get? Nope. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's it's not the fact that you get anything. It's just you get veteran. You start to get veteran dialogue. Oh. Oh. No. Okay, that's different. That's different. Oh, that's different. Okay, well. Yeah. Then. It just says it just. What's this word? It just knows that your character has been through that. Um, been through that DLC and stuff. Okay. okay. At, I fucking add played so um, that might be in the video <laughs> mute 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 ha ha ah ah my eye switching uh let's see lag switch mic switch ha ha uh any other topics you can think of me? no no we were just wait 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 we were talking about topics what no. No. I'm just wondering what else we can talk about. I guess we've started talking about D2. Uh, I mean... Um... Any shows that we you've could... Been... Any on. shows that I've been watching? No. Yeah, no? Oh, I no, watch... I've been bored watching Markiplier. You've been watching Markiplier? Yeah, I've been bored watching Markiplier. Uh, the last... I, I just started watching him again this recently. The last video I watched from him was him going to Tim Hortons. Hmm. So anybody who knows, I don't normally watch, like, 
I watch like small YouTubers. I don't watch the big YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So me watching the big YouTuber like Mark, it just means I'm really bored. Mm -hmm. uh, which I am. <laughs> you both are. That's why we're doing this podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh. Uh. Don't I did go. Uh, me. Yeah, I was trying to remember. How dare something. you? <laughs> go fuck you. But um. No. Yeah, this would no. be a common occurrence. I'll be saying, I was, I was saying, fuck you, and he would say, no. Say, so, yeah. anyway. Something's wrong with his mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I did finish two, two, uh, two series, at least for like the first season. Tresse and Yasuke. Both animes. I'll start with the first one. Tresse. Really good. First four episodes, really good. I, re I enjoyed watching Tresse. It's a... It's a, like, detective. Not really detective, but, like, it's an, it's an action, an anime that deals with cases, like, murder cases and figuring stuff out that that involves the supernatural and is set in the Philippines, which is really cool. I'm enjoying the fact that, you know, a Netflix original anime is set in the Philippines, made by Filipinos, at least I know the direct is the director Filipino. I know the voice act the main voice actress is Filipino. Um the T T V series. Mara Sigan. That might be a Filipino. Okay, yeah. The director is also is Filipino. The main actress is Filipino. Heiner Brothers. But it's really cool that there's a Netflix and Netflix original anime that's getting really good. Um, and it's getting really good uh, review. Yeah, like really good recognition. I'm liking that. Let's see the reviews. Yeah, 4.6 stars. Honestly, that it deserves a 4.6. 7.3. I'll give it a 7.5. It's a 7.5 on IMDb. So, um, yeah, it's a horror fiction. It's less of a horror fiction. It deals with Phil Philippine mythology, Filipino mythology. So you have like duendes and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it because of the fact that I watched it. Actually, the audio, the dubs, it's originally in English and then they dubbed it into like Filipino as well. I prefer watching it in English because um, our, it's too much for me um listening it to only filipino i could fully i could fully understand it in filipino i could watch it in filipino but i, I like just watching in english and hearing like the chants and um i should i should really say spoiler spoilers here so yeah we might say i might say spoilers for trese as host yasuke if i once i get, start talking about yasuke but yeah, the trust like I really enjoyed like you know listening to like the chants spoken in uh, Tagalog. So you got tabi tabi po when you're calling for Nuno, and you got like all your chants. Like I under I fully understand what the chants are saying, what what the chants mean, even without the subtitles. And uh, I just I just enjoy that more. Just listening like all the characters are talking English. Some of them have have like. Ha like their accents like range and like how strong they are but it's kind of weird to be honest like that these ma the smaller characters and or like the villains that have or the villains or the monsters in that story have like a stronger filipino accent compared to the main voice actors so you have like uh the main character Tresse. 
Alexandra Tresse. Um, her accent is a her accent is like similar to mine. How it's you could you can hear it slightly if you're not if you're if you live in the, if you're born and raised in America. But for me, it, it sounds like it's a westernized accent. But when you start saying, it's when they start saying, or when I start saying, like words in my language, or gets angry, or get yeah, or gets angry. That's when their our accents come out. So like, case in point earlier, I said tabi tabi po, like my accent comes out. Or when I say so, go on for people who just just real quickly, uh, you can sometimes you can anger Kyle. Sometimes yeah. I I do it somewhat often. All the time, we yeah. had an argument a little while ago <laughs> about the stupidest thing in the world about yeah. bricks versus bricks. Yeah, yeah. And, and his accent came out. It's just funny. Yeah, yeah. When I get and I get and I get. Not as funny of his accent. Funny. It's just funny. You're like, oh, he got angry. Oh. And, yeah, I find it entertaining that my, that my accent comes out when I do get angry. So. Also, Kyle. Yes. Jaeger. Start a rant. No, I'm not gonna fucking start a rant, and it's fucking Jaeger. <laughs> Pretty bad, you already started one. Fuck you. Wait, yeah, my real name's Kyle. Art keeps on um saying my real name. I'm oh, sorry, I'm too used to it. Call me fucking Besides Jaeger. Your, I... Jaeger. 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 Oh. Salar. Oh. Salar. Oh. Saladin. Oh. Caesar Salad. Oh. Salad. Caesar salad. 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 <laughs> God, we're idiots. Okay. Yeah, so, Tresse's first four episodes of Tresse, really good. Last two kind of lost me a little bit. It went too fast for me. Like, a lot of expectation, a lot of talking. Not really... Kind of... It kind of went too fast. They should have, like, stopped at... They should have, like, stopped at... Extended season four. Extended season four. No, no, not season four. Ex extended episode five, and then halfway of season six, or uh, episode six, is where they should stop that season, and enter and go with that, continue that in next season or something like that, or like, make it seven episodes or eight episodes, because, oh my god, like, oh, it's, it's a lot of talking. I just want to watch some action, man. Come on. <laughs> and it looked like, uh, and it looked like as well. The budget just got cut for the last two episodes. Um, with Yasuke, Yasuke is really good. Six episodes as well, only one season. I think it's only getting one season because it ended. It ended like, it, it actually ended. There was, there's no chance like for like another storyline or another arc to happen. But with Yasuke, it's it's. Um, it's based on an actual person, but it's but this, the story's been fantasized. Um, it centers around an African, an African servant, uh, who becomes a samurai under the tutelage or under the um, leadership of Oda Nobunaga. The Great Unifier of Japan. Pretty sure he is the Great Unifier of Japan. But anyways, correct me if I'm wrong. I, my, my Japanese history, or my history when it comes to... I'm kind of out of touch with but my history in the eastern side of Asia, of the world. But... Then yeah, so if you're almost done with it, Kyle, then I would recommend once again, as I said to you many times... Assassination Classroom. But I don't have that. I don't, not, not that flex. Crunchy roll. And I'm not gonna pirate bruh, it. Bruh, YouTube. I I don't wanna just. It's on YouTube. I know, but. Uh... Is, are all the episodes on YouTube? I'm looking up. I th yeah, I believe so. That's where I saw all of mine. Are they like all caught up? Because I don't want to go like to do that. No. No, it should be all in like. There's a playlist, I believe. Or well, there was a play playlist where it just had all the episodes one by one by one in season one and in season two. Oh, season one English dub, Jinai Hatake. Why is that there? Full episode by anime sub. 
How are these people getting away from getting away from a bit? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll. Yeah, I just yeah, just finished. I still have to watch JoJo though. I have a. I'm on part five. Oh no, part four. Oh JoJo, they just released part four of JoJo on Netflix. So I might watch that. Um. What else? I don't know. Yeah, me either. Like, there haven't been really any recent animes that have been, like, sticking out to me that I want to watch specifically. Mm -hmm. I, have you finished watching Kimetsu no Yaiba? No, I have not. You should continue watching it. You, sh you should continue watching it. It's so good. It's... I, I remember... Um, what's this word? Watching the anime... Uh, the Crunchyroll Awards, or uh, looking up on it, and Kimetsu no Yaiba won that year's best animation. So, and then after watching it, I see I see why they won best animation. It's so good. The animation is so good. Like and there's like CGI parts, but like I barely th I, I I could tell that there was CGI in there, but it passed it passes for me. It's like. I had to look very closely. Wait, is that CGI? Oh, that is CGI. I thought it was 2D for so. Alright, carry on. Uh, what do you feel about 2D enemies? Hard. I mean... I don't know, because it's like, to me... If the anime is worth watching, then the anime is worth watching. I don't care if it's 2D, 3D, or whatever. So, to me, it's like 2D. There's different styles of 2D. Like, there's 2D that try to makes it like look 3D-ish, mm -hmm. but not really. And then there's a straight 3D. Mm -hmm. To me, it just doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter for you. How nope. about the uh, frame rates? Comes to animation, animation and 3D animes. Um, because like. I remember just this one specific anime. Uh, it was uh, Pacific Rim: The Black. Their the at the frame rate on their Jaegers and Kaiju's are basically on sixty, or at least it's smooth. But on their mm -hmm. characters, I'm pretty sure they're animating on twelve. So it's like really I mean, choppy. To be, to be fair. We did watch the first seasons of Ruby. Yeah, that's <laughs> and, true. And those yeah. they were the definition of choppy. Yeah. Oh, the yawn. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And now we dot 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 and try to figure out what the next topic is without yeah. Kyle trying to transition us into the next topic. Yeah, it's it's, it's really hard to like think of next topics. I always wonder well, how I, um, podcasts do it. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's just the fact of like, okay, we can talk and banter all the time. Yeah. But the moment you're pressured to do something, it kind of like, yeah. wait a minute, what? Yeah. It seems a little harder. Mm -hmm. Like, not that hard, but a little bit. Where it's like, yeah. wow. This is weird. Yeah, it's like, like, we're now forced to think of a topic and start this talking. Yeah. It's really, yes. I, I'm, yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head like, around, like, how did podcast, like, podcasts do it? Like, Misfits, Offline TV. Usually they have a guest on, like, sometimes they have a guest on. I know with uh with Trash Taste, uh, Trash Taste is a po uh they're a podcast I'm listening to recently, so really cool. But yeah, they sometimes have guests on, guests on, but they're able to like just talk. It's probably it's most likely edited. Most likely, it's most likely edited. But so that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, should we uh, should we upload this? Raw. Um. Or should we? Just, I don't care. 
Okay, I'll just I might just upload this raw with no edit, so they can they can see like the voice of the the voids of like no no speech. I mean, the voids aren't that long. Where yeah. It's like, oh, this is terrible. Where yeah. it's just like next th twenty minutes, no one speaks, <laughs> and no one speaks. It's just like a couple seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, you'll be fine uploading the first one raw. I might just upload everything raw unless some like unless. Some, we, we say something that's like that is that needs to be cut out yeah 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 and in terms of like I honestly, could agree on that. what do you say I could agree on that I was, I was just gonna say I could agree on that that's okay. all <laughs> but what's wow that's the most nervous laugh I've ever heard like, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah in terms of monetization I'm not really monetizing this because it's just a side project what we're we doing so I'm just bored so if any uh if anyone wants to join in this podcast as a guest um just hit one of us up like on our social medias if you know us personally or on through my twitters or my actual or my other socials it's all gonna be listed on my so on my youtube this will be uploaded on my youtube as well or on this channel until we get a another youtube channel or something i don't know i just put this on my personal on my only youtube channel since you know uh yeah i'm not thinking of monetizing this not thinking of you know earning money from this dude that'd be weird if you what? started like that would be weird what that, but that would also be life just so kyle's future sorry Egger. Jaeger. Egg. Jaeger. egg egg you just call me egg uh egg Eggman. <laughs> okay, Sanic. 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 Egg. Sanic, gotta go fast. Get, gotta go fast. Um, gotta go fast. Go oh dear. Um, so he wants to be kind of like pursue, uh, computer science and game testing, kind of, and also game coding, kind of. A game developing. He wants to do computer. Yeah. Computer shit. The point is, he wants. Yeah, computer stuff. And it's like, that'd be weird if life decided, no, let's make him a YouTuber. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, I went into college for four fucking years, and I, I have a bachelor's in computer science, and now and I'm now a YouTuber. It's gonna be funny. I'll be, I'll be hilarious, but... No, I intend to go to college, um, get a degree, work in the computer science field. I completely intend to do that. Well, you on the other hand, you're just gonna be living life for like two years, right? And going joining the military. Nah, I think no? I dipped out on that idea. So what are you gonna do then? I don't know. It is okay in life. There's options. Yeah. And to me, it's kind of like I can't figure out what I actually want to do. I can't figure out what makes me happy at the moment. Well, that's why I say go apply for a job, man. Get a job. Um. Yeah, like, I was saying, no, you had a plan. Might as well go with it, right? Right? Kinda, yeah. Like, I know a lot of people who have no clue on what to do. You, on the other hand, had a plan. You should just best stick with it and, like, and see where that leads you. Because who knows? Like, you might get some, gain some connections. Like, art. Like, I, like, fuck you for this. You have... You have Good as social skills, but you don't like using it. <laughs> oh, um, I have for people to understand that is I I don't like pe like I don't like to be around people too long, which is true for anybody. The longest I've stood around anybody who's not family or not like like blood family is two weeks. Beyond those two weeks, I can't. And some people like. Specifically, I just can't stand more than like oh, staying around them for like a week. But I can become friends with anybody within seconds because I can adapt my personality and the way I speak and the way I think to match you. I am the best pretender. <laughs> but, God. And that uh, is no joke. But yeah, like, exactly. Like, it's like, Tim. But it's like. Go on. Oh. But it's okay. But for some reason, that is me still. 
Like I ain't completely pretending. Yeah. Okay, just, now continue on. Yeah, you just adapt. You just adapt like how you would react and stuff to that adapt, person. Survive, overcome. Yeah. yeah, but like, yeah, fuck you for that. Like, you're good at making friends. Shit, at keeping yeah. them sometimes, but when you're able to yeah. make friends like that easy, like I, mm -mm. I'm not that kind of person. I'm actually the complete opposite. Um, I don't like. Yeah, I, 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 what's this word? Meeting people, I, I don't actively search out to meet people, but if I'm forced to, or if you, or if that opportunity is there and I'm pushed to that opportunity, I'm willing to do so, and I'm able to, you know, make friends. And I'm really, and what's this word? Like once you're friends, and once you're like, you know, you get close and stuff like that. Right, right, we gooch, we gucci. <laughs> so like let's see like um with my that. yeah it's pretty much how that's how me and Ard met like we just had a mutual we just started hanging out and look at us now we treat we, we treated each other like brothers nah not even like we are yeah but yeah 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 um like if I'm but there's, I there's to, no um about it it's just me. Yeah. No, <laughs> I have to be forced to meet people. So, like, let's say, like, my first job. Um, since I what's this word? Since those I'm working with those people, my my mind's like might as well be nice to them, be friendly with them, as well as the people that I'm working for and uh working. Like in the facility, like I might as well be friends with them, right? That's what my, my my mentality, like my subconscious is like. I might as well be friends with them, as well as my current job. Like, I might as well be friends with these guys or be friendly towards these guys. But as soon as like you know, if interaction is not needed, or if if make if being friendly is always oh, this word being. I, I I'm like friendly all the time. I'm like nice all the time. Uh, but if it's like if it's not needed, I usually don't pursue it or be active about it, which I sh really should. To me, it for me, um, see, there's there's a good difference between me and Kyle. For one thing, is since Kyle's kind of small. <laughs> Egg, so, sorry, since Egg's kind of small, he's and uh, kind of like hangs out with certain people or he kind of used to, he's mm -hmm. kind of facilitated. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people will approach him that he'll be friendly to. Mm -hmm. But because people rarely see uh, me and Egg together because we're more, more online, kind of ish. Yeah. Um, And my height. Nobody messes with me. Like yeah. nobody talks. Yeah. It's Everyone's like, ah, like scared yeah. of you. It, they are, and it's like, I'm not going to hurt you. Violence is. I am not violent. I am entirely passive until the moment. Yeah. You punch my friend, and then it's kind of like, <laughs> how about I choose a different route? It's like you, you, you'd be like, bitch, you want the female here? But yeah. No, yeah, like yeah, because if it's like big stature, like everyone's afraid of him. Like yeah, and, and it's kind of like well, and yeah. bear, and no one's afraid of me. Nope. But because of like how nice I am towards a lot of people, I'm like at least I remember at least in my point of view, a lot of people like respected me and a lot of people like were nice to me. Like, I know with like. I noticed like was one classmate of mine. He always, uh, you should, uh, this is weird. Um, he's in. He's, he's one of the boys. We, Art and I have like a term. It's, they're the. They're, 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 he's one of the boy. The boys. Uh oh, yeah. wait. We have two boys. We have the cool kids squad, and then we got the gangster squad. Which one? I forgot. Which boys. No, it's it's the boys, you know, like the boys. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, Not, those, yeah, those four. Yeah. Those. Is it, I thought it was three. I usually three. No, it is three, but the other ones was four. 
You Swarm. had a count in the law, the other one that left. But I know you're talking about go. Yeah. He always calls me Sugar Bear, which I, I absolutely find that fun and adorable. Like, I, I actually uh, ran into him when I was at Target buying hair gel. And I was just, I was in line at the cashier. And then I hear, an, I hear quiet, I hear like, I hear it in, uh, from far away. Hey, Sugar Bear! And it's like, I, I, I look around and I see him. It's like, oh my god, I, I didn't know, I waved. It was really nice. He was really cool. Kind of, I'm kind of sad that, like, you know, a lot of people, like, I th it was my, it was one of the other groups I that I hung out with. You should know who, which one they are. They didn't, th that group didn't like a lot of the guys and, uh, oh. a lot of the guys, or like, like the boys so. and stuff like that. Like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad about it. Like, I understand why, but at least from my interaction, like, he, he was cool. I definitely respected him. Fun to hang out with. But, you know, kind of sad that there are people like that. Because the way I treat people, the way I, like, interact with people, is through my accounts only. So if someone was nice to me, I'll be nice to them. If, but if someone isn't nice about me, uh, nice to me, I'll still be nice about them. It's just when they, when I think about people. So, like, I don't resent someone because they were, because someone that they're being mean about someone at some uh, to someone else. Actually, I don't even resent anyone. Like even if they li don't like people or if they like people, but you know, like one person, one person here's a bitch. One person here's the bitch. But I don't hate them. That's who they are. And you know, my interactions with them were lovely. It was nice. Like I was nice to them. They were nice to me. But you know. But it's kind of sad to hear, like, when other people outside that group are, like, they don't respect them as much as I do. I understand why. Like, that's how they, how they, no, it's it's, yeah, we just explained the story. We just explained the story and, um, yeah, we're going to, we, we've cut that bit out because it deals with, uh, two real people even though we replaced their names we don't want to get in bad shit with them and stuff like that so we just cut we just cut that part out so anyways yeah 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 we're, we're definitely cutting the, the power part. of editing proceeds of flush being the audience <laughs> <Ding! laughs> it'd be like so on Ding! a side note kyle on yeah. the on the video game side <laughs> uh we now have seven Egg, sorry. Egg. egg. I need to train you to call me Egg. But anyways, go on. Yeah, you do. Um, we have 17 diamonds now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Speaking of which, uh, I'm renaming you. Changing your nickname to Ard. Okay. And then renaming you. I'm renaming me to Egg. Okay. Ard well, take for Ardvark. Egg for Jaeger. No, I already changed your names. Your name. Okay. Arden Egg. And then if Arden. I go to... If I go to... Hold on. I, I'm, I'm changing changing this halfway. Thank God this is episode zero. Our pilot episode. If I go to the Discord integration... Okay. I mean, that's why I asked you, like, not put a title on any, like, our stuff and just leave it, like, completely blank. That way, if you uploaded it, it would be so hard to find. And then episode one will be, like, our actual episode one, like, the beginning. Because this is just us trying to express ourselves for you for you people to get to know us. Mm -hmm. To kind of explain ourselves and just kind of get used to a podcast. Because you don't dive headfirst into a podcast without ever doing one exactly. Mm. Like, this is kind of unofficial, but official. Yeah. This is, our, this is our pilot episode. Yeah. This is our... No, not pilot. This is our uh, pirate. Pi our pirate. pirate. Our pirate episode. Our pirate episode. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here.
There we go. <laughs> I have I have our names now. In the thing. Ard and Egg. God, really? Yep. Ard and Egg. No, not that. Not that. Oh. But yeah. So Someone I have our names. Else. Oh. So yeah, I have our, I have our names now. It's Ard and Egg. You're out of training to keep calling me to call me Egg. Yeah. It's a hard Ardvark. Egg Jaeger. Yeah. Egg. 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 I, I, I really just gotta change that because for like... What? We known each other since... Since what? Sixth grade? Since like the beginning of sixth grade. Yeah. And I always, always call you by the name. By my real name, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like, that's really hard to break. Uh, I'm already calling. Uh, I'm still calling you Ard, dude. <laughs> I know, because here's the thing that helps me with you calling me Ard is everything I name is Ard Bark. Yeah. So it's kind of easier to integrate into that if mm -hmm. you have examples. But you, it's No Name Gaming, which I affiliate with your name, and then uh, Kyle likes gaming occasionally. Yeah. And it's kind of like. Yeah. Well, my, my name's not. What's this word? It's not consistent. Oh, this is yours. You've always been hard. Yeah. My name, my name has bounced from Kalex Gaming to No Name Gaming, and and then Jaeger, and now Ed. Jaeger is new. I've, so with Jaeger, that's like the other name I would use instead of my real name. Uh, so. Wow, that came out of nowhere. And now it's like. God. It's my dog. Where's Where's my dog? Yeah. So yeah, uh, my I have dog a, is sleeping. Yeah. So with my dog, like she would, she would like lie down next to, like right, lie down near me, in the office, and sometimes, she would lie down in places where I'll be stuck, because if I move, I'm gonna crush her. So like, before, before you ask, no, this is not a small dog. It's a medium-sized no. dog. Yeah, but still, I don't like, her. I don't want to like pinch like her skin or something. So right now she's like lying down behind me. And if I need to move, I can move. But so yeah. My, my dog Wow, like, you got I didn't think you did, but you actually did. What? I didn't think you got on the server at all, but then I see that you actually did. Me? Yeah. When? I don't know. I've never been on all the, the server. Stuff's out of, all the stuff's out of the furnace. I've never, I've never been in on the server. Really? No. Okay. Not, not since we last played together. Okay. Got it. Because it's like everything that was in the furnace, either you moved out before I realized, or I don't know. We haven't played since we last, play we've last played together. I've been playing Control wow. for like the past two days. Wow. So yeah. By the way, if you guys. With control, I, I enjoy playing control. It's absolutely a fun game. Uh, it's set in a building in the Federal Bureau of Control building in New York City. It's all set in that one building, and it's really cool. I suggest playing it if you are if you have a gaming PC and you have Epic the Epic Game Store and run able to run Control. I suggest it's free right now. Go download it. But if it if you're on a console, if it's on sale, if it's on Game Pass, I still, or whatever, or the equivalent on PlayStation, get it. Or, or if you have PlayStation Plus, or PlayStation Now, is it? Is the equivalent for Game Pass? But anyways, I absolutely, it's an absolutely fun game. I love playing that game. So I'm I'm now at the AWE section. Alter the alter world event area section uh, section of the game where you go and get the flight projector. I'm in that part of the game, and I have and if you guys are curious where I'm running, I'm running the uh the uh not scatter spin and it's in the sniper one. 
spin and charge. No, not charge. Uh, throw. Spin and pierce. Oh, the surge? Oh. Oh, I don't have surge. Wait, I'm, I'm using spin and surge. And occasionally grip, but it's surge. It's cool. Uh... I guess it is a good difference between me and you. What's a good difference? I don't give anything. What do you mean? I don't care if I say something wrong. Or oh, you I don't give a fuck. You. No, I don't. Sure. Uh, with me, yeah, that's... Unless... Like if I have a... Go on. If I have a problem, like, about you, I will tell you and then try to be friendly to you. Like, not necessarily friend-friend, but just friendly kind of like i don't know how to describe it besides um like more res more towards a little bit past respectful you just that makes any just, sense just enough respect right just yeah to them, just, to, just to treat them like a normal human being yeah you know yeah with me um i try to be nice to everyone um you can't yeah i try to be nice I, I try to be nice to everyone i try to help everyone that i that i can that i that i that i am able that i think i'm able to do if i if i can't i still try my best and you know sometimes yeah. that doesn't work yes stuff so recent but anyways um it's not really so recent now, it's been a couple of months already since it happened, but anyways, yeah, it's like I try to help the best I can like, and the best I see fit and if I don't understand um, the problem or the issue I try to understand the best I can but there's a lot of barriers I wish people, like some people understand that there are barriers one, a language barrier two, a cultural barrier Three, a generational barrier. It's like all these barriers, and we try to my best to get the message, at least the message from you, from one person to me, uh, best understood. All right, and and in general, I just try to master everyone, even though you can't. Yeah. Although well, I also do try to be nice to everyone, just I, I, I if do. I say something that offends you, I don't care. Yeah. Like I'll know not to say it again, but at that split moment, unless you're like you're one of the people I really care about, I really don't care. Mm. And there's only like maybe besides family, there's three people that I really care about. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, your family. Mm -hmm. Your family, you can take a joke. You can take a punch at the joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. I usually just respond with a fuck you. <laughs> that's, yeah. my usual, that's usually my, my usual response when you guys like make fun of me. I usually just say fuck you and laugh about it. Yeah. Because that's my humor. I, I, I make soft deprecating humor. I mean, to be fair, and not even that, it's just the fact of it isn't even just you. It's we take pot shots at everybody. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Our little group take pot trucks at one another. It's mm -hmm. just how we is. Yeah. Although our group is diminishing. Yeah, it's like pretty much us two now. Like we don't talk to it's... your uncle. We don't. Like we pretty much no. don't talk to Holiday anymore. No, we don't. So it's pretty much just well, us two at this point. I mean, it's not the fact like even it's just that it's just the fact that. Uh, you play, you play our, you play D two on PC. I play D two on Xbox. Mm -hmm. But I'm burnt out for the second while. My uncle is just completely bored of it because yeah. it's the same. Same thing. He over sees and over it as the same. Yes. Which and he's not wrong. He is not wrong by any means. That's yeah. Uh, 
you made it to go twice as fast. <laughs> you did. Smart uh, Kyle. What? Oh. Uh, I'm smell. Uh, so with Tinker's you're using the forge. Yeah, I'm using small the tree. forge. The small tree. Yeah. I have a lot of smelted ore. I'm just moving it to the tank. Mm -hmm. And I did know that the reason why you made two is so, that... so it would go faster. Yeah. I didn't pick that up. All right. But. Wow. Watch out with certain materials though, because they might alloy. I know it's, uh, two metals can make aluminum brass, so be careful about that. Oh, too late. Yeah. That's why I just smelt like one, like the, I know with the ores from Galacticraft, I only smelt them one at a time because I know they will alloy and they will make more material, more stuff. That's why once like I only smelt uh, one set of material, one set of ores, one type of ore and immediately go to the tank and smelt the other second. Mm. Unless I know they won't mix, like if it's with iron and every other material. They won't mix, so just and just smelt those together and smelt tree immediately. Okay. Well, Kyle, look at the time. You can continue talking. What do you mean, continue talking? Yeah, I know we're gonna continue talking, but I mean, like, look at the time. I know it's eleven fifty-eight. Yeah. I have more. Uh, yeah, you do. You can stay up to one o'clock if you want. Sure. But yeah. Um. Something's wrong with us. We understand. Yeah. yeah Something's uh, wrong with all of us. Yeah, we're not. We're just human. And, and, we're not perfect. We just have to accept who we are. Yes, and also hypocritical. Yeah. Because I think myself one way, but in reality, I may be one way, a mm. different way. Well, that's because I don't see myself. Mm. No, uh, you're not. It, you're what's the word? Yes, you are. But anyways, yeah, I, I, hypocrite. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's this word? I saw this one TikTok. Uh, I just saw this. I yeah, I go on TikTok. Uh, 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 fuck you. But there's this um, there's this one TikTok I watched. It. I was watching it during work because my I'm my my work right now, in my job right now. There's a lot of downtime. So I basically just watched YouTube, watched Netflix, and just, and sometimes occasionally if, if data's working, I watch TikTok, I go on TikTok. There's this one TikTok that I, that actually made me cry. Because, I don't know, it, it, I don't know why it made me cry, but it was, I forgot um, who the guy is, or I, I follow him on TikTok, but. Um, he does the he ma he has uh, he does the series called the voices stuck in my head and he like voice acts like so, like voice acts like different stereotypes so like he had he has a Russian he has a Russian a British a Russian guy a British guy uh, he has himself as one of, as himself um, and he has like a fan favorite the conservative Korean dad. And a, a person, uh, it was a, a video of, of, it was this, this specific TikTok. It was of the Korean conservative dad, the conservative Korean dad. And it was a Q and A. And w the question was, uh, what was his views on, or no, does he support the LGBT plus community? And... He instead of like saying yes or no, he just he told us a story, or he just told like an, an account. I think like he just told a story. He um he he just went and talked about his son, like how he thought he was gay because during the four years of college, um he didn't bring a a Korean Christian girl. Um, and he thought it was gay. Like, but. By the way, this is not this is an uh, a skit. This is a skit. It's not an actual Korean conservative dad. It's just a skit by this guy who's acting who, who is Korean. Who's acting like a Korean conservative, a Korean a conservative Korean dad. 
and then um going back to the story the korean the conservative korean dad would say like would said that he thought he was son, his son was gay for four during the four years of college because he didn't his son didn't bring a a girlfriend but now as he was thinking about it he would be grateful if he were to find someone who loves his son as much as the dad loves his. And I started crying when I heard that. And he went on to say how um, that no matter that um, that it's just he doesn't see the point of why hating on someone on of he he then went on like saying like how he had he now doesn't see the point of hating someone just for who they love and that love is love and what and the phrase and that phrase that really got to me was when he said that phrase saying he would be grateful if I, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here but he said he would he would be grateful or he would be thankful if his son could would find someone to love him to love his son as much as the father loves his own son and that really got to me I don't know why and uh, I was I was like sorry I was like sorry to think about like how I uh, came out being bi uh, bisexual to my mom and it, yeah it just mm. Mm. Yeah, I just, I just don't know why I started crying when that line happened. <laughs> what? Sorry, Kyle. It's this, all right, it's all right. It's, it's, all right. Quite, it's quite strange coincidence. I'm sitting here smelting stuff in the game. Yeah. And I look at how much we have. Mm -hmm. We have 69 smelted sear stone. And oh, I'm just looking 69. at the number 69. 69. And yeah. Sorry, sorry. I realized that was highly inappropriate about the laugh. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, sorry. It's okay. And it's okay. I, I may have offended people, but guess yeah. what? Middle finger. So, well, it is time to end the podcast. So let's 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 do some close. You mean words. this? Not even podcast. This is just this, us talking, dude. Yeah. Well, it, it's a podcast, so it's it's time to end. It's it's time to end this today's episode this today's episode but um let's, let's do some uh closing words um to just to end it off uh what's this word and since i since the last topic was about sexuality don't hate people for who they love or who, who they are they're, who they are or who they hang around with Respect who, who they are. Respect their the decisions they make, no matter how much do you dislike it, or how much it hurts someone. Yes, it's wrong that what they're doing hurts someone. We should still treat them like a a human being, and you know, mention maybe mention them that they're wrong or mention them that that's not right. And give them the this the same amount of respect that you want, and eventually they may even they may even give that respect back to you. But it's it's gonna be hard to do so. So I know that it's it's hard as someone being a minority. I was fortunate enough to not. Uh, encounter those who are ig are bigoted, ignorant, and stuff like that. But just treat them. But those, but to those who are like, 
treat them like a normal human person, a normal human being who has their own beliefs and stuff, and, and treat them the amount of respect you want to be given, but don't expect it in return, but always do. It's gonna be hard. But unless you've been doing it all your life. Yeah. But that's how just life is. Life is tough. Life it will always give you challenges. And you know what I always think about those challenges? Challenges are the spice of life. They make what life that makes they make life interesting. Yes, challenges and stuff like that is hard to go through and no one should go through. But what's the point of living through life and achieving your dreams if there's isn't a, if there isn't a challenge? Eventually, uh, challenges make you stronger. So, you have anything else to say, Brick? Or shit? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You have anything? Um, anything to say? Closing words. Uh, the only closing word is you better end the stream right after this. Is uh, oh, it's a recording. The right. name, the name Adolf Hitler is now available in Germany to be used as a natural name again. Oh, really? Yeah, well, close. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I am Egg and you're Egg and Ard, Ard and Egg. Yes, so I'm Egg. He's Ard. Yeah, the bah. And that's the that was, um, the first episode of the Untitled Podcast, or at least our episode number zero. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. It's a, it's been a real pleasure just being able to talk about stuff. It's been weird. It's weird. Yeah, because it's like we're I'd like how we're supposed to end it and we're just continue on. Yeah, we're just we're continue. Under yeah. yeah, we are. Yeah, this is our but, problem. Yeah, but, but it's like you are under pressure to say certain things that you can't certainly say. Right. And it's like uh, all right, mm. all right. Just let me let me close. Let me let me do the uh, what's the word? The things. Yes. Okay, got it. Go. The goodbye. So, so yeah. So this has been Egg and Ard, and that's episode number how zero. Here's, how about this? Oh my god! How about this? I'm I'm keeping all this in. How about this? Here's my goodbye. <laughs> well, yeah. That's now that he's actually gone. Um, that's been Egg and Ard, and that's episode number zero of. The Untitled Podcast. I hope you all, you guys, all have a good night and hope to uh, make more and have you guys listen to it more. This has been Egg and Ard signing off. <laughs>